The diagram represents a truss rafter for the roof of a house. We have angle AED is equal to 103 degrees. BC is equal to 2.15 meters. BD is equal to 1.35 meters. And AD is equal to 2.8 meters. And here we have this diagram. And notice that they want us to write down a pair of triangles that are similar. Now, what do we mean by similar triangles? Well, similar triangles means that they have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. For two, for two triangles to be similar, similar, they have the corresponding angles have to be equal and corresponding sides are in the same ratio. Now, one way that we can test if two triangles are similar is if they have two corresponding angles that are equal. And so if we look at these two triangles, let's look at triangle B, C, D. We look at this triangle right here, right? And we compare it with, we compare it with this triangle right here, right? Triangle C, G, E, right? We compare those two, right? We notice that these two triangles are similar. And the reason why they are similar, because if we notice carefully, right? This is alpha, this is alpha, this is beta, this is beta, which means that these two triangles have two corresponding angles that are equal. And so since they have two corresponding angles that are equal, they are indeed similar triangles. And so we have that, that triangle BCD and triangle GCE is a pair of similar triangles. And they only ask us for one pair. And so we give them the pair of similar triangles that we have here, okay? Okay, let's move on to the next question. It says, calculate Given your answer to two decimal places, the slope of the roof B angle BAD. So we have to figure out what is the value or what is the size of angle BAD. First, let's, first let's identify this angle. Okay, so angle BAD. So let's angle B, here's angle B, A, D. All right, angle BAD. So they want us to figure out what is the size of this particular angle right there, right? Angle B, A, D. So how are we gonna figure out what is the size of this angle, okay? Well, we have theta here, we have 103 degrees and we have 2.8 meters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this triangle, right? And we're going to draw it separately. So we have theta here, we have 103 degrees. Here we have 1.35 meters, just like how we have 1.35 meters. We have 2.8 meters, just like how we have 2.8 meters, and we have ABD, just like how we have ABD, we have ABD, ABD in a similar way. And so we're gonna use this and figure out what is the size or what is the value of theta. And so in order to do this, we're gonna use the sine rule. And the sine rule tells us that sine of capital A divided by small a is equal to sine of capital B divided by small b. And so that's what we use here. Sine of capital A over small a is equal to sine of capital B over small b. Now we label, we label our triangle. So capital A is definitely the missing side. So this is capital A, right? That's the missing angle, I should say. So capital A is the missing angle. And small a, right, small a is the side that is opposite to the missing angle. So small a, let me put small a here. So let's use um, a small a, right? Small a is equal to 1.35 because that's going to be the side that is opposite the missing angle. Then we have capital B and capital B is equal to 103. Capital B is equal to 103 and the side that is opposite capital B is going to be small b. So small b is equal to 2.8. And so we substitute our values. We know that a is equal to theta. A is, is capital A is equal to theta. Um, that's what capital A is. That's the missing angle, right? Capital A is the missing angle theta. Um, small a is equal to 1.35. Capital B is equal to 103. And b is equal to 2.8. So we substitute these values. 
And so we have sine of theta all over 1.35 is equal to sine of 103 divided by 2.8. We, we cross multiply. And when we cross multiply, we say, okay, 2.8 multiplied by sine theta and 1.35 multiplied by sine of 103. And so we have 2.8 multiplied by sine theta, that's what we have here, and 1.35 multiplied by sine of 103. And so we say, okay, well, we could divide both sides of this equation by 2.8 because we want to get rid of this 2.8 on this side. And so this, and so what, 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 does, what does that give us? Well, that gives us that this 2.8 cancels out with this 2.8. And so we are left with sine of theta, sine of theta is equal to 1.31539987 all over 2.8. Now, how do we get that? Well, we multiply 1.35 times sine of 103, and that gives us this numerator. And so we have sine theta is equal to this fraction that we have here. And so what we do is we divide these two numbers. So we divide 1.31539987. We divide it by 2.8, and we get a 0 0.46. Nine seven eight five five six seven, and the next thing we're going to do is we take the sine inverse of both sides of this equation, and so that gives us the opportunity to cancel out. That gives us the opportunity to cancel out sine inverse and sine, and leave us just with theta, and so we have that theta is equal to twenty eight point zero two zero three seven eight one two, and we got that because sine inverse of this answer, this decimal answer is equal to 28.02037812. And so that's what, it, that's what theta is equal to. And so what we have here is we have that correct to two decimal places, theta is equal to 28.02 because this zero is less than five, so we cannot round up. So theta is equal to 28.02 correct to two decimal places. And so that means that the slope of the roof, which is angle BAD, is equal to 28.02 correct to two decimal places. Okay, next, we need to figure out what is the length of CD. CD, let's highlight CD. Where's CD? So this right here is CD. Okay, so it's CD. All right, so we need to figure out what is that length CD, okay? Now, this is a part of this whole triangle right here where that side is equal to, this side rather is equal to 2.5, and this side is equal to 1.35. This is beta, this is alpha. And so what we have here is we say, okay, well, what is the length of CD, right? So CD, what is that length? CD. Okay, so what we have to do is, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out what is this angle, right? The same angle right there. Uh, let me show you the angle we're talking about this angle right here. We're gonna figure out what is the length of this angle. Now we have a hint because, well, we know that, um, we know that, let me erase this so you can better see what I'm talking about, erase our link. We know that angles on a straight line at a common point add up to 180 degrees. So that means that 103 plus this angle right here must be equal to 180. And so that means that in order for us to get what is the size of this angle? I just have to subtract 180 and 103. And so that's what we have here. So we have this angle right here is equal to 180 minus 103, and it gives us 77. And so that means that this right here, this triangle can be expressed as 2.15 meters right here, 1.35 meters right here, beta, alpha, and 77 degrees right here or right here. And so when we have that, remember we're trying to figure out what is the size of um, CD. So we're gonna call this, we're gonna call this one, we're gonna call this C, we're gonna call this a D. We're trying to figure out what is this, the, the missing side, right? What is that equal to? And so again, this is C and this is D. And we're gonna try to figure out what is CD equal to, okay? And so what we're gonna do here is we, we, we um, write the cosine rule and cosine rule says that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus two b c 
cosine of a. And so in this case, we're going to we're going to let capital A, capital A be equal to, so let me use a pen. We let capital A, let me use a red. So we let capital A be equal to 77 as capital A, right? Capital A is equal to 77. And the angle and the side that is opposite 77, the side that's opposite 77 is going to be small a. That's the missing side. So we have the missing side, which is a, and the angle that is opposite small a is capital A. And then we have that B is equal to B is equal to 2.15 and C is equal to C is equal to 1.35. All right, and so we have a is equal to small a is equal to um, small a is equal to cd. That's going to be the missing side. That's what small a is, the missing side. The angle that is opposite the missing side is capital A, and b and c are the other side lengths where b is equal to 2.15 and c is equal to 1.35. Next, we substitute our values. b is equal to 2.15. C is equal to 1.35, B is equal to 2.15, C is equal to 1.35, and capital A is equal to 77 degrees. And so we say 2.15 squared plus 1.35 squared, when we add those two, we get 6.445. Then we say two times 2.15 times 1.35 times cosine of 77 gives us 1.305. 84087. And when we subtract these, we get 5.139159913. Next, we take the square root of both sides. We take the square root of both sides. That allows us to cancel out. What do we cancel out? Well, we cancel out this root with this power. And so we are left with, we're left with A is equal to the square root of 5.139.15913. And the square root of this number is equal to 2.2669713.56. So A is equal to 2.2669713.56. That's what A is equal to. Now, if that's what A is equal to, remember A is equal to the missing side, CD. And so, but we write it, write this answer correct to two decimal places. So this is six. So since six is greater than five, we add one to the six. And so we have 2.27. So that means that A is equal to 2.27, correct to two decimal places. And so what does that mean? That means that the length of CD, correct to two decimal places is 2.27. And it's gonna be 2.27 meters, right? So we have to put meters here. So let's do that, 2.27 meters. And that's the answer, correct to two decimal places. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.